periods in supply of commodity. So time element is very important for supply to adjust itself to fit into changing prices as follows. Very short run of the market period. This is a period whereby when firms are completely unable to increase output in the production process, such firms can only uh, bring to the market only what is uh, stored in such a short period of time. For example, a steel trader might arrive in one marketing at this steel with a given uh, constant value. So this is the period in production where firms are completely unable to increase output in production process such that firms can only bring to the market only what is in his stores in such a short period of time. For example, a street trader might arrive one morning at his store with a truckload of soft drinks which may not last until the following day. Once at this store, the trader is unable either to increase his available supply within the market periods or very short run to meet any unexpected surge in demand or take the soft drink off the market for the sale at the higher rate date. So this is a short run or market period whereby in simply method uh, there is only the variation of application of input factor of production take only for a minimal factor of production while the other factors are kept constant. So this is a period in production where firms are completely unable to increase output if the production uh, process such as the firms can only bring to the market only what is stored in such a short period of time. So most of the most of the uh, producers in the short period of time they actually produce uh, at the minimal level and not at the higher level. This is because they apply on the simple tools and simple technology to enable to meet their their to enable to meet their targets. And most of the revenue achieved here will be low. But also, the employment generated under the short period of time is not sufficiently sustainable. So, this actual, this is the plans for short lines bring only the solution for a short period of time and not a long solution to a given problem. But also, we have the short line. So, in this period in production, however, which uh, the inputs of at least one factor of production cannot be increased, in this period, now, firms may increase output by increasing only units of a variable factor. For example, manufacturer firms wish to increase its output is unable to have a bigger factor building overnight. And so, in the short run, we can only produce more of the employee, more of its variable factor, such as labor, raw materials, and fuel. So, a factor of production which can be increased is called a variable factor, while the factor of production which cannot be increased is called a fixed factor. So in the short run, the supply of commodity may be fixed uh, since it takes time for the supply to adjust itself to the changes in demand. Thus, in the short run, an increase in demand may result in a steep rise in price. So the actual length of the short run period does not correspond precisely to any particular time period. So it varies from the industries and industries and from one firm to another firm. So some of the firms uh, completed the period faster than the other firms, as you can observe. A long run, this is a period of time over which the input of all factor of production can be increased, and the firms can adjust its supply of output due to the change in demand. The long run period is whereby there is a flexibility of the producer to change the input factor of production, either increase labor or capital machines and whatever. So actually in the long run period, this is the period which provides sufficient room for a producer to wide his production and to attain the high profit. So a very long period of time, in this period of time when the firms can expand in the size, also the change, change technology to produce new or high quality products. So the very long time also enables the firms to carry out research and development. This is because of large capital and the high profit he or she generates. So 
This is quite different from the short run whereby it limits production but also it produces more poor quality goods and cannot attain to bring the achievement for the sustainable development but only for a short period of time. So graphical, when you try to sketch out the interaction now, the two concepts about the long run and short run periods uh, or time element of supply will appear in this form over here. So we'll be having the equilibrium level. We have the where the short run and the long run supply curve together with a V or S curve uh, cutting together. So we have the very long run, we have the long run, and we have the short run. We have the very long run and we have the long run short run and the market period over the short runs. So our graph will appear like this. So as you can observe, uh, the graph looks like this. So we have the MPC, and we have what is known as the market period, of, market period of very short run, and we have the CRS that is a short run, and we have the ROS that is long run, and the VRS that is very long run. So in this figure above, original demand curve that is DD. And the market period supply curve intersect at point E. And the price uh, that is OP is determined. So suppose that there is a once for all increase in demand from D1, from demand 1 to demand 1, 2. Supply cannot increase in the market period, hence now remains the same at a, at a OM. So market period supply curve MPC intersects the new demand curve, that is DD, at point Q, the same amount for QM is actually demonstrated. So that's that the market price sharply rises to OP1, and so the short run supply curve that is LRS intersect the new demand curve that is DD. Uh, so at point R, so output OMI, OMI, the short run price will therefore be at OP2, which is a lower than the new market price of OP1. So as a result of the long run adjustment, the price will fall at PO and at OMI at OM2 at which the long run supply curve that is R L R S intersect the demand curve that is DD. So if the industry is subject to decreasing cost and cost, the long run price will be equal to the original price. And in further case, if the industry is subject to the decreasing cost, the long run price will be lower than the original price. So it follows from the above that the price which prevail in the market price depends upon the period under the consideration. So it is clear the time that plays an important role in the determination of the price. 